हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर तृप्ति एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंजॉय बायोकेमिस्ट्री इन द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन एंजाइम टुडे लेट्स लर्न अबाउट क्लिनिकल एंजाइमोलॉजी व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल द क्वेश्चंस लाइक लॉन्ग आंसर क्वेश्चन शॉर्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन एंड इवन द वायवा क्लिनिकल एंजाइमोलॉजी इंक्लूड्स डायग्नोस्टिक थेरापेटिक एनालिटिकल और लेबोरेटरी यूजेस ऑफ एंजाइम्स Diagnostic uses means the uses of enzyme for diagnosis of a disease and monitoring of the disease. Therapeutic uses means uses of enzyme for the treatment of particular disease. And analytical uses means if the enzyme is used in any reagent for analysis. In the laboratory, it is called as analytical or laboratory use. At the end of this session, the student shall be able to describe in details the diagnostic. therapeutic and analytical uses of enzymes enzymes are of two types plasma functional enzyme and plasma non functional enzyme plasma functional enzyme are also called as plasma specific enzyme and most of them are synthesized in the liver and then released into the plasma these plasma specific enzymes they are present in higher concentration in plasma than cells and they are clinically significant when the serum level is decreased below the reference range the examples of plasma functional enzyme are coagulation factors complement factors lipoprotein lipase ceruloplasmin renin cholinesterase plasma non functional enzyme are also called as plasma non specific enzyme and these plasma non specific enzyme most of the enzyme in the plasma serve no function and these non functional enzyme they are derived from cells of organs and tissues these enzymes are present in high concentration within the cells and low levels in normal plasma it is mainly derived from those cells destroyed in normal tissue turnover and whenever there is damage to the these organs there will be in, they are released uh, in the plasma and the level will be increased the example of plasma non specific enzyme are creatine kinase lactate dehydrogenase alkaline phosphatase ast alt etc there are various causes of increased plasma level of these non functional enzyme for example in the disease state of tissues if there is hypoxia or infection if there is excessive synthesis or induction with overflow into the plasma in case of vigorous exercise or if there is decrease renal clearance of this enzymes now let's see the diagnostic uses of enzyme means these enzymes are useful for diagnosis of particular disease its level is increased in the disease condition for example the enzymes which are the levels are increased in cardiac diseases are ckmb ast and lactate dehydrogenase the enzymes of liver diseases are alanine transaminase aspartate transaminase alkaline phosphatase and gamma glutamyl transferase the enzymes of biliary tract diseases are alkaline phosphatase gamma glutamyl transferase and fine nucleotidases the enzymes level which are elevated in the muscle diseases are creatine kinase mm ast and aldolase enzymes indicating the presence of pancreatic diseases are serum amylase and lipase prostate disease indication by increased level of acid phosphatase and also prostate specific antigen however prostate specific antigen it is not an enzyme the enzyme which is increased in the bone diseases is the isoenzyme pre beta of alkaline phosphatase and there are many other enzymes which are increased in some conditions like glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase cholinesterase ceruloplasmin etc now let's see the enzyme profile in cardiac disease this topic cardiac markers i will explain this in separate video in more detail so this enzymes which are increased in cardiac diseases they are useful for detection of acute myocardial infarction and minor myocardial injury the first cardiac marker is ck2 or ckmb which is detectable within 3 to 6 hours of myocardial infarction it reaches to its peak by 18 to 24 hours and return to normal by 
36 to 48 hours. It is the earliest enzymatic marker. Second is aspartate transaminase. It is detectable after 24 to 36 hours of myocardial injury. Maximum level is reached by 4 to 5 days and it returns to normal by 6 to 8 days. This AST, it is non-specific. It can be increased in other conditions also. So it is not used nowadays as a cardiac marker. LDH, that is lactate dehydrogenase, it has various isoenzymes. It is detectable within 6 to hours of myocardial injury. It reaches it to peak at 24 to 48 hours and return to normal by 7 to 12 days. It is also highly non-specific. It is also increased in various other conditions and that's why not used nowadays as cardiac marker. There are some non-enzymatic cardiac markers like myoglobin, which is detectable uh, by 1 to 2 hours of myocardial injury, reach to the maximum level by 6 to 9 hours and return to normal uh, by one day. It is the earliest cardiac marker. So if the question is about earliest cardiac marker, to rise in the myocardial infarction, the answer will be myoglobin. But if the question is earliest enzymatic cardiac marker, then the answer will be CKMB. And this myoglobin, it is not specific. It is also increased in the muscle injury. Then troponin I, it is raised within 4 hours of myocardial injury. It reaches to maximum by 14 to 24 hours and return to normal by 7 to 10 days. It is very useful at any interval after heart attack and it is routinely used for the diagnosis of myocardial infarction. Troponin T, it rises within 6 hours of myocardial injury, reaches to maximum level by 24 to 48 hours and return to normal by 10 to 14 days. So the enzymatic marker here should be mentioned are CKMB, AST and LDH. But AST and LDH, these are not used nowadays as they are non-specific. Now coming to the liver enzyme panel. And the enzymes which are indicative of liver damage, there are of two types. The first one are markers of hepatocellular injury and other are markers of cholestasis. So which are the markers of hepatocellular injury and those are alanine transaminase or it is also called as alanine aminotransferase that is ALT. Previously it was called as SGPT. The second is aspartate transaminase or aspartate aminotransferase which is also called as AST. Previously it was called as SGOT. So these are the markers of hepatocellular injury. So whenever there is damage to the hepatocytes, these enzyme levels will be increased. Now which are the markers of cholestasis? Cholestasis is due to the obstruction to the bile flow. So there is a stasis of bile. And the markers are alkaline phosphatase gamma glutamyl transferase and 5 nucleotidase. So these are the liver enzyme panel which is included in the liver function test. Now let's understand some key points about this uh, markers of hepatocellular injury that is ALT and AST. Uh, what is the site? Where does it is uh, where does it present? Alanine transaminase it is present in the liver and that is in the cytosolic fraction of liver. The normal reference range of alanine transaminase that is ALT is 5 to 40 units per liter and there is marked increase in the level of ALT that is up to 1000 units per liter. It occurs in conditions of severe viral hepatitis as well as toxic hepatitis. There is mild to moderate increase that is up to 100 units per liter. It occurs in the biliary tract obstruction as well as alcoholic hepatitis. And this is very important during interpretation of uh, laboratory data. Uh, we should know that in which condition there is mild to moderate increase and in which condition there is marked increase in the ALT levels. Now coming to this aspartate transaminase, AST, it is present not only in liver, it is also present in the heart, skeletal muscle, etc. And it is present both in the cytosol as well as mitochondria. The normal range is about 5 to 35 units per liter and marked increase is seen in severe viral hepatitis or toxic hepatitis as uh, ALT and moderate, uh, mild to moderate increase is seen in alcoholic hepatitis and in the chronic condition that is chronic active hepatitis in the metastasis condition that is hepatic metastasis. So in all this condition the increase uh, AST can be seen. 
this AST uh, this can also be increased in the non hepatic condition because it is also present in the heart skeletal muscle so it is raised in the myocardial infarction and skeletal muscle disorders as well both alt and st levels are increased in the liver disease but the increase in alt is more than increase in ast normally and the normal ast to alt ratio is less than 1 because alt is more than ast now when uh, it is reversed or when ast to alt ratio becomes more than 2 in case of alcoholic hepatitis so if the ratio is more than 2 then it denotes the alcoholic condition now why there is uh, increase in ratio the reasons behind this is due to the reduction of hepatic alt and increased release of ast from the mitochondria what happens alcohol is a mitochondrial poison so in the alcoholic condition there is more release of this ast from the mitochondria and that's why in the alcoholic hepatitis the increase in ast level is more than alt and that's why that ratio becomes more than 2 alkaline phosphatase that is alp it is the marker of obstructive liver disease or cholestasis there are various isoenzymes of uh, alkaline phosphatase and these isoenzymes are alpha 1 uh, alkaline phosphatase alpha 2 heat labile alpha 2 heat stable pre beta gamma and leukocyte alkaline phosphatase this alpha 1 alkaline phosphatase present in the epithelial cell of biliary canaliculi and that's why it is increased in the obstructive jaundice so in the obstructive jaundice there is increase alpha 1 isoenzyme of alkaline phosphatase alpha 2 is heat labile l for liver so labile is present in the hepatic cell heat labile alpha 2 is present in the hepatic cell so in case of hepatic diseases this alpha 2 fraction will be increased that's why it should be noted that this alkaline phosphatase is increased in both hepatic diseases as well as obstructive jaundice alpha 2 it is heat stable it is of placental origin and it is increased in the pregnancy pre beta b for bone so this beta bone fraction in, will be increased in the bone uh, diseases and gamma is present in the intestinal cell so it is increased in the conditions like ulcerative colitis leukocyte alkaline phosphatase it is increased in the lymphomas and decreased in the chronic myeloid leukemia now the normal reference range is uh, it it is different for different uh, age groups because in the growing age in children it is more and but the normal reference range is 30 to 115 uh, units per liter and if there is moderate increase two to three times of the normal range so it denotes the hepatic diseases like infective hepatitis alcoholic hepatitis or hepatocellular carcinoma there is just two to three times increase uh, that of normal range of alkaline phosphatase now very high levels that is up to 10 to 12 times increase will be seen in the obstructive conditions obstructive jaundice for example in extra hepatic obstruction that is obstructive jaundice and intrahepatic cholestasis like uh, infection of liver that is hepatitis due to viruses that is infective hepatitis or Uh, the toxicity due to drugs like chlorpromazine so please note that moderate increase is seen in the hepatic condition and very high levels are of alkaline phosphatase are found in the obstructive jaundice and intrahepatic cholestasis if there is drastically high levels of alkaline phosphatase more than 10 to 25 times then it, it is indicative of bone diseases because this pre beta fraction bone fraction it is uh, 50% of the total alkaline phosphatase so 10 to 25 times more than the normal range is seen in the conditions like paget disease rickets osteomalacia osteoblastoma and metastatic carcinoma of bone so uh, while you interpret any laboratory data or uh, when you study any clinical case it should be always kept in the mind that in the hepatic disease that is hepatic jaundice there will be increase in the alt ast as well as alp can also be increased but the increase will be moderate and in the obstructive jaundice the increase in alkaline phosphatase will be very high that is 10 to 12 times than that of the normal range second marker of obstructive liver disease or cholestasis is gamma glutamyl transferase that is ggt it is seen in liver kidney and intestine and the reference range is about 5 to 40 units per liter this gamma glutamyl transferase is the sensitive biomarker for recognition of alcohol abuse and it is increased in the alcoholic liver disease 
it is increased even when the other liver function tests are within normal limits so it is the uh, important bio uh, marker which is uh, indicative of alcoholic liver disease and it is also significantly increased in the obstructive jaundice then comes fine nucleotides it is also marker of obstructive liver disease but it is not routinely included in the lft it is the ectoenzyme present on the cell membrane and the reference uh, range is 2 to 10 units per liter it is moderately increased in hepatitis but highly increased in biliary obstruction so it is more specific for obstructive liver disease let's see how to interpret uh, values of alkaline phosphatase and gamma glutamyl transferase together so if both alp and ggt are estimated and there is increase mild to moderate increase in the alp level and ggt level is also increased then this denotes either hepatic or, or biliary disease because there is mild to moderate uh, elevation in both hepatic and biliary disease is seen so both are elevated then hepatic or biliary if alkaline phosphatase is highly elevated and ggt is also ele elevated then it confirms the biliary disease only because we know that in the obstructive condition that is in the biliary obstruction there is high elevation of alkaline phosphatase ggt is also marker of obstructive uh, bili means obstruction in the biliary canaliculi or biliary duct so it will also get elevated so both are elevated but alp is highly elevated then it is the biliary disease when alkaline phosphatase is elevated but ggt is normal then it denotes the bone condition because the pre beta isoenzyme of alp is elevated in the bone diseases if alp is normal and ggt is raised means there is isolated raise in the ggt then it denotes the alcohol abuse this is how we can interpret the values of alp and ggt enzyme profile in muscle diseases include the estimation of creatine kinase that is ckmm isoenzyme the marked increase is seen in the muscle disease second enzyme which is increased in the muscle diseases is aspartate transaminase but it is not specific because it is increased in other condition like liver disease also then aldolase it is the earliest enzyme to rise but not specific coming to the enzyme profile in pancreatic disease there are two important enzyme which denotes the presence of pancreatic disease the amylase and lipase the function of amylase it it cleaves the alpha 1/4 glycosidic linkage of polysaccharide for example starch to form maltose and it is calcium containing metalloenzyme it is activated by calcium and chloride ions there are two types of amylase one that is produced by pancreas that is p type and other that is s type which is produced by or secreted by salivary glands the normal reference range of amylase is 50 to 120 units per liter and the level of serum amylase is increased in acute pancreatitis that is about 1000 times it is increased in uh, acute pancreatitis the peak level it reaches between 5 to 12 hours after the onset and it returns to normal within 2 to 4 days after acute phase has subsided moderate increase in the serum amylase level is also seen in pa chronic pancreatitis and other conditions like mumps and pancreatic duct obstruction then this lipase lipase is more specific than amylase it breaks down the triacylglycerol in monoacylglycerol and then fatty acids it is present in the pancreatic secretion normal reference range of serum lipase is 0.2 to 1 units per liter it is increased in the acute pancreatitis it persists for 7 to 14 days that is it is elevated longer than the amylase it is not increased in mumps and moderate increase is in seen in ca pancreas and biliary disease and this lipase estimation has advantages over the amylase and that's why it is more specific than amylase because it is not increased in the conditions like parotitis that is mumps and its level is elevated in the plasma longer than the amylase because it persists for 7 to 14 days so estimation of uh, lipase is more specific than amylase enzyme profile in bone disease there are six isoenzyme of alkaline phosphatase out of which pre beta isoenzyme the drastically high levels that is 10 to 15 times of normal uh, upper normal limit is seen in the various bone diseases like paget disease rickets osteomalacia osteoblastoma and metastatic carcinoma of bone 
Now let's see the enzyme profile in prostate diseases. The enzyme is prostatic acid phosphatase. The phosphatase means it cleaves the phosphate and it acts in the acidic medium. It hydrolyzes phosphoric acid ester at pH between 4 to 6. This enzyme it is secreted by prostate cell, RBCs, platelet and WBC. So there are various isoenzymes but this prostate isoenzyme this is inactivated by tartaric acid so it is tartaric acid labile isoenzyme normal reference range of this prostatic acid phosphatase is 0 to 0 0.6 units per liter total level of acid phosphatase it is increased in the prostate cancer and highly elevated levels are seen in bone metastasis of prostate cancer specifically the increase of tartrate labile isoenzyme that is prostate specific isoenzyme this prostatic acid phosphatase it is useful for follow up of treatment of uh, prostate cancers and that's why it is very important tumor marker prostate specific antigen that is psa it is a glycoprotein with mild protease activity and it is produced from secretory epithelium of prostate gland it is normally secreted into seminal fluid and it is responsible for liquefaction of seminal coagulum this prostate specific antigen it is very specific for prostate activity and that's why it is a reliable marker for prostate cancer however it's not an enzyme it is considered as tumor marker because it is useful to detect stage and monitor treatment of prostate cancer this prostate specific antigen it is a better predictor than prostatic acid phosphatase for diagnosis of prostate cancer now let's see some other enzymes like cholinesterase. Cholinesterase are of two types. First is acetylcholinesterase which is also called as true cholinesterase or type 1 cholinesterase. It is present in the nerve endings and also in the RBCs. So the level of cholinesterase in RBC it is useful to determine the exposure in person working with organophosphorus insecticides for example parathion. And this organophosphorus insecticide it irreversibly inhibit cholinesterase in RBC. That's why it is label is useful to determine the exposure. Second is pseudocholinesterase that is type 2 cholinesterase which is non-specific. It, it hydrolyzes acyl esters and it is present in the liver cells. Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase it is the important enzyme of hexose monophosphate pathway. Decreased level of this glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase it is associated with drug induced hemolytic anemia and this topic has been already discussed in the uh, separate video that is uh, G6PD deficiency a case study and I am giving the link of this video in the description. Ceruloplasmin it is the ferroxidase acute phase protein and that's why it is increased in all inflammatory conditions collagen diseases various malignancies. The normal reference range is 25 to 50 mg per deciliter and if it is, it is decreased that is if it is less than 20 mg per deciliter it is pathognomic of Wilson's disease that is Wilson's hepatolenticular degeneration which means there is copper toxicity. There are some enzymes which are called as tumor markers because their presence is indicative or presence of uh, tumor but they are non-specific. For example, alkaline phosphatase level is increased in the bone cancer, liver cancer, placental alkaline phosphatase levels are increased in the ovarian, lung and GIT cancers, increase amylase seen in the pancreatic ca cancer and prostate, lung, breast, colon, ovarian cancer can show the presence of increased creatine kinase level, LDH level increase is seen in liver cancer, lymphoma, leukemia, GGT increase 5 prime nucleotidase increase is seen in the liver carcinoma prostate specific antigen and prostatic acid phosphatase level increase in the prostate cancer so these all the enzymes they are called as the tumor markers however they are not specific for that particular cancer there are various enzymes which are estimated in the other body fluids like Adenosine D aminase that is ADA levels are uh, estimated in the pleural fluid and it is indicative of uh, tubercular pleural effusion but it is not increased in the malignant effusion. 
lactate dehydrogenase level in the pleural fluid acidic fluid it is increased in the malignant tumor it is not diagnostic as this enzyme is not tissue specific so far we have seen the diagnostic uses of enzyme now coming to the therapeutic uses which means that the enzymes which are used for treatment of particular disease so there are various enzymes which have therapeutic uses for example streptokinase and urokinase it is useful for lysis of intravascular blood clot recombinant tissue prothrombin activator it is also useful for lysis of clot especially in the cerebrovascular thrombolysis asparaginase it is used in the treatment of acute lymphoblastic leukemia streptodornase it is a dna which can be applied locally pancreatin that is trypsin and lipase useful for pancreatic insufficiency alpha 1 antitrypsin it is used in the alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency in emphysema papain can be used as the anti inflammatory agent so these are the various therapeutic uses of enzymes let's see the analytical uses of enzyme these are the enzymes used in the clinical laboratory as reagents for investigation for example for estimation of plasma glucose glucose oxidase and peroxidase are used in reagent cholesterol oxidase and peroxidase are used for estimation of cholesterol urease for estimation of urea uricase for estimation of uric acid hexokinase and glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase for estimation of creatine kinase lipase glycerol kinase glycerol phosphate dehydrogenase for estimation of triacylglycerol lactate dehydrogenase for lactate alcohol dehydrogenase for ethanol and enzymes like alkaline phosphatase horse radish peroxidase they are used in the technique like elisa some enzymes are used in the genetic engineering technique for example the enzyme restriction endonucleases they are useful for gene transfer dna fingerprinting tag dna polymerase is used in the polymerase chain reaction and some enzymes have industrial uses like renin is used for cheese preparation glucose isomerase for production of high fructose syrup alpha amylase can be used in the food industry proteases are used in the washing powder so there are various diagnostic therapeutic and analytical uses of enzyme this topic is mostly recall based the facts are given there is nothing much to explain but you have to remember all the facts related to this diagnostic therapeutic and analytical uses of enzyme as this is very very important topic for long answer question and almost all type of question as i have already mentioned like it it is importance for short answer question and mcqs as well as viva so i hope this video will be useful to you thank you for watching and happy learning